Hello, my art friends. My name is Christine. I am the creator behind Fluffy Pigeon Art and the art video you are about to watch today. So what we're gonna do is we are going to follow suit with a couple of previous coloring or painting sessions that I had. With this particular color, um, actually two colors, we've got Phantom Earth and we have Serpentine. Phantom Earth is a color from Art by Wei. She is a handmade or hand, yeah, handmade watercolor creator. And Serpentine is a color, um, a shimmer from the Sprout Creative. My goal today is to make a wreath type shape. So we're gonna use this big green canister top for my protein shakes. And I'm just gonna put this right in the center, I think, and then kind of go from there. I don't make wreaths very much, um, partially because I don't have a lot of square paper, I have a lot of rectangular paper, but that's a good way to start. So we'll take that. Um, I've seen really cool things where people paint the lids and then they take those lids and they lay them down and they do something really cool on the outside. Um, we're just gonna keep it simple. And honestly, what I might do, oh, excuse me, is erase this down a little bit, just as long as I can see the general outline. And then I'm gonna try and do a wreath in um, the spirit of this. So I'm gonna try and do some of these guys in a wreath format. So I'm gonna open up my pan. I'm gonna use that to help me here for my uh, ratios of water to pigment. I'm gonna use this awesome, awesome precision brush by King Art. It's a dagger, one fourth inch. Love the size. And I'm gonna start on here by making some blooms. I'm gonna start probably, I don't think I'm gonna put a bloom at the top that would feel kind of, I want my biggest bloom probably to be on the side. And I'm gonna try, oh, look at the green that popped on that. Isn't that amazing? The best part about handmade watercolor is that some of these watercolor makers are just magicians. They do the coolest stuff. So I've got this guy here. I think I'm gonna do another one here. Kind of more of an angular one where it's popping out of the side. See that there? Crazy thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna get that ever again anywhere else on this thing. Um, I'll do another one down here. Maybe a little smaller, maybe a little bigger. Just depends on my brush strokes and how they go. And I'm just gonna go all the way around this thing with lots of different brush strokes. Just kind of playing around with filling up this circle space. I'm not entirely sure yet if I'm going to make um, this entirely filled in. Sometimes it's just figuring things out on your own and figuring out in the moment what works based on the brush strokes that you've already made. Let's keep going here. Uh, I'm gonna go up here, maybe make a bigger one because I did not fully erase that space super well. And I'm gonna wanna do that around it because I really don't want that to pop. And you can kind of see where it's already popping here. I'm probably gonna have to play around with um, more pigmented brush strokes in the future to make that work for me. Um, so let's brush that off. I'm gonna make a couple more big ones here. These are all five petals, flowers or blooms. They are not any particular flower or bloom. They're just things that I like and that I see is super pretty. Part of it's just the type of brush that I use. I like a pointy end and I like a wide belly. And then I like <clears throat> when the um, base is not that skinny. So, or not, you know, that even exists to be quite honest. I like a pointy end. Um, I feel like I have more control. I feel like I have um, just 
some ability to keep things clean but also loose. That's important to me. And by clean, it's more of like a sharpness. I like in my work when I see the lines, when I see a little bit of a contrast in the sharp lines that I create. Okay. So then maybe what I do here is, I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe I make another one here. I'm not spending too much time paying attention to making these perfect. And then maybe another one here. And then another one here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now I'm gonna start digging into a darker pigment here. I'm gonna start playing with how these are connected. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some leaves. Some of these leaves may bleed into the flowers, that's okay. If this is super heavy in water, then it might get a little out of control. And maybe you don't want that. I don't generally want my um, paintings to feel too loose because I do like the sharpness that can come with um, a lesser water ratio in your brush strokes. There are some people who have like crazy magical qualities that give them this ability to make super loose and wet paintings just amazing looking. I am not that person. I like a little bit of control in my work. It gives me anxiety. I have friends who laugh at me that they're like, ah, ha, ha, Christy must be freaking out. Look at all that water. <laughs> it's just, uh, we all have our stuff, right? Oh, I don't know if I can get this to come out. Can I, I see this like tealish green in there, but I'm just not, hmm, I'll see it here. Can I get it? Can I get it? Nope, it's still brown. That's the only thing with these um, gradient colors. You can't always guarantee that you're going to get the color you want at any given moment. It's going to be what it's going to be. And that kind of lack of control I'm okay with. And I got to decide what I'm going to do up here. Um, do I leave it open? Which already is starting to look kind of cool. Or do I add more leaves? I don't know, man. What do I do? I feel like instinct is to add more leaves. Maybe I just need to keep adding more in here. I kind of like that openness at the end there. Maybe that's it right there. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to get my darker pigment again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some sharper, darker pieces above and behind some of these flowers to give the contrast. It's also pretty cool when you have like a little space when you're making your leaves because it gives contrast there as well. You can kind of see that there. I might do that there. There's not enough darkness up here, so I definitely want to add more there. All right, maybe a few more in here and a few more in here. Sneak some behind and maybe another one here. And then maybe with these, add a few dark spots with my brush strokes. Okay, now, I'm, I don't know why I just washed my brush. Um, I'm gonna add this is where my dark little stamens are gonna start to pop. I put four in there. Maybe I'll put an odd number over here. And then when I'm done adding my stamens, I'm probably gonna go back and add some shimmer to this, like this one over here. And that shimmer will come from the serpentine colors that I was showing you at the beginning of this video that I was gonna be using. Oh, I love this blue right there. I love how it snuck itself in there. 
and it's one of those like surprise like surprise look at this color that you didn't expect and as my kids like to call them color changers you know how popular that is with kids they love to see things change colors when they add hot or cold water. So while this is not necessarily a hot or cold water thing, it does have a cool surprise vibe to it. Okay, so last but not least, I've got my serpentine. I'm gonna add, I need to get it super wet to pick up that shimmer. I'm not touching that bad boy right there. It's too cool. Okay, a little bit here, there. I don't wanna to do too much because I do like the light color in here. This one has way too much up here and there. Definitely in there. You notice I keep coming back here and picking this up. Okay, in here. The nice part about some of these brushes, they just do the work for you. And then a little bit up here and in here and then there. Guys, I'm so happy with this. I mean, I probably could add more, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it's perfect just the way it is. And that's literally one color with some shimmer added on. Here, let me see if you can see that. I'm so happy with that. This, and then this and this, and something like that. If only my handwriting were super beautiful, I could put something in here. But I'm not sure what that would be yet. Uh, maybe joy. Joy is a short word. If you have any ideas, um, put it in the comments. And I will hold off on putting letters in here. And then maybe I'll put it up in my Etsy shop. So if you have not followed me yet, please do so. Um, I'm going to continue posting really cool and awesome um, watercolor tricks from a... Um, not an expert per se, but someone who's had practice teaching themselves without having any sort of formal education. Just getting... Um, taking classes from online amazing artists who are willing to share their wealth of knowledge. And now I have the opportunity to do so as well. And I hope that um, you find this valuable and that you do, don't just click the like, follow, or share button because I told you to, but because you genuinely want to follow this um, YouTube channel. So again, thank you for coming. And I look forward to sharing with you all of my cool facts and knowledge in the next video. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.